Hey everyone! Um, new setup for a little while and um, I'm actually changing up what I'm doing a little bit. So what I'm going to do instead of showing you like the box and everything up here, I'm going to do that on the desk because then I can show you a bit more details and then I can show you like the pen in more detail with a little more ease. When I hold up the boxes, like sometimes I drop them and like struggle with like holding them and like trying to not hit my mic and like trying to see what I'm doing and making sure it's on screen. So I think it'll be easier if I just do it like this. So what I'm going to do is just introduce the pen and kind of just like give you whatever details we need about it. And that's going to be basically it. So what I'm just going to pull up real quickly is my price list because I forgot to get it. So the thing is, the first one is this pen. This is the... Mont Blanc Star Walker 2019 Douay fountain pen, and it's the Douay because it's got the metal cap. It is 550 US dollars. Now, I received this on loan from Applebaum Pen In, and so it's only on loan. And um, he does offer a discount. I'll give you the discount details when I'm doing the writing. But unfortunately, the discount does not apply to Mont Blanc because they don't allow it, so that kind of sucks. However, you can use it for other things. So. The Starwalker. Um, I've never owned a Starwalker before. I've reviewed them and I've used them from friends and like I've always had mixed feelings about them because I never, I don't know, like they never really did much for me. I think it's because I don't really care for the nib style and like I like bigger, softer nibs and these have a very specific feed shape and like a very specific section type and um, so they, they were just really never my pen. However, it's interesting to be able to review one because I get to try it out and especially this one because it's their newer Star Walker series because they've got, let me just unlock these, they've got this um, blue, wait, blue dome in the finial and I think that's really cute. So I'll show you that in a little more detail when we do the desk down version. But other than that, um, I just wanted to show you the pen and introduce it and let you know it's from Applebaum. Now, one thing I know I forgot to do in the desktop version is show you the clip, and the clip is tight as heck. So, <laughs> there is that. Anyway, uh, let's go look at the desks, writing, packaging, and I'll see you in a second. Hello! So, this is a new format I'm trying out where I just kind of talk about the pen and introduce it with my face, and then I will show you the packaging, and then as usual, the pen and the writing sample in more detail like this. It's just easier for me um, to show the packaging like this. And also I think you guys will probably be able to see the packaging a bit better. It won't be like up in the air. I won't hopefully drop anything. So we are talking about, as I've already shown you, the new Mont Blanc Starwalker. So they say the Starwalker was first launched in 2003 and um, these are the new series. So. The new streamlined 2019 edition, reviving the iconic Starwalker design elements, will be about the future, exemplifying the engineering capabilities of the Maison. The collection is themed around space exploration, with the blue dome representing our planet and the Mont Blanc emblem being reminiscent to the clouds, just as the astronauts would have seen the Earth when they made their first visit to the moon 50 years ago in 1969. So that's what they're going for, this space look. So the usual Starwalker, like the normal one, does not have this blue dome. And um, at first I hated it, but now I'm kind of like, mm, I'm okay with it. It's kind of pretty. So let's just take a quick look at the packaging. This is the standard Mont Blanc box. It's not too huge. Um, I'm like, this is not an inexpensive pen, right? It's um, like 550 US. But to be honest, I prefer the more minimal packaging, as you know. Uh, okay, so that's just the sleeve. On the inside, you get the Mont Blanc service guide. And um, it comes with like information on how to um, like ink the pen, like details about the pen. And there's always the warranty certificate at the back because this is a loaner. This is not stamped, etc. Um, so yeah, there's that. And here is the clamshell box. It has not changed despite the pen having changed. It's just very basic. Um, I'm okay with it again. Like it's not horrible. Ah! So in the barrel of the pen, it comes with a spacer demonstration sample, Mont Blanc ink only. Um, the pen sits in the bed. It's very safe, very snug and secure, and it takes standard international cartridges. So Mont Blanc does supply one. 
um, but I have put in a Caveco converter, so the piston style converter, because, um, actually I don't know if it's a Caveco, it's, um, sorry, it's just like a standard international, like a super inexpensive converter. Um, there you go. So I do know that the Caveco style piston converters work in case you're looking for one. So let's just look at the pan before we do some writing. There we go. Let me see if I can um, like brighten it up. That seems pretty bright. Um, I don't like this yellow. Oh, there we go. Sorry, this didn't come my desk. Um, yeah, so there's the video and the blue dome. The cap is metal and it says Mont Blanc around the top and the clip is pretty snug. It sticks out beyond the cap, which can be annoying if you want to put your cap down like that. You can't, so you gotta do that. The pen is round, it does roll. It will eventually stop, but it's a roller. Um, the barrel is resin, as we know. The cap is designed to be screwed on to be posted. So um, I, I can use it comfortably like this. It's actually really light like this because the weight is really in the cap. And the section is like kind of weird. It's got these ridges on it. It is metal. Um, the ridges are supposed to make it more, I guess, like easier to grip. Um, and it does add a bit of grip to it. So uh, because it's a straight section, like you can slip. It's a pretty light pen. So I actually find it surprisingly, like it stays in place pretty well. Um, this ridge right here is quite sharp. And um, so this is what it looks like in my hand. Let's just post it. It's quite top heavy in my hand. So, that, ah, oh no. Okay, um, here's the fun of this. Oh no. Let's see. I'm going to try that again. No, I'm going to not try that <laughs> because that's going to happen again. Uh, that's a pain in the butt. So anyway, the point is that it is weighted towards the back. Um, but even so, it's a fairly small pen. So if you hold it like this, it's pretty comfortable. If you have big fingers or a large grip, you might find that this ridge gets in the way. So there you go. That's just like something for you to consider. Um, if you hate fingerprints and stuff like that and, and like grease and stuff, the smooth metal cap might bother you just a tiny bit. So I found that this nib is, um, I'm going to try something. I don't know if this is going to work. This, this is a new thing I'm trying. Um, I'm going to do this and then see if I can show you the nib. I don't know if this is going to work. Let's see. Um, oh, that's not too bad. So it is a 14 karat gold nib. It's like their interesting shape nib. It kind of reminds me of like the Lamy um, Ion nib. Single slit, um, round breather holes, got the little Mont Blanc logo, pretty standard. And this one is a medium, I think I had written. Yeah, it's a medium. Um, and the tipping, or sorry, the feed is like their weird, like L plastic feed. Tipping is blobuous, Blo that's just making that up. To me, I found it slightly over polished on like rhodia paper and stuff like that. So that was a bit annoying. But um, for my writing sample, I'm using just like a moisture pad. Um, and I like, I actually find it works quite well with the moisture. I'm going to write, you might hear some feedback. Let me just move this out of the way. Unbox that out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little for your some more. Sorry, just give me a second to rearrange. Um, this is typically why I use notepads. It's because it's easier than um, a, a notebook of paper. There we go. Is that all right? Let's see if that works. No, that's horrid. Okay, I'm going to just write down here. We have to deal with it. It's 
pretty firm writing experience. Um, oh, what was I going to write? Uh, this is the Douay, right? So it's got the metal cap. Um, 14 karat gold nib available in extra fine find. So you saw a skip there. Medium and broad. Um, let's just look at how the nib itself performs. So I'm using no pressure. I'm going to start applying a little bit of pressure. This is not a soft nib. They don't really accommodate pressure, so I just want to show you that you can do it. But even with pressure, you're just getting a bit of a wetter medium. Uh, bordering on a broad, but I would not recommend applying pressure to this. So it's a bit skippy, especially when you're going fast. Um, if you're going slow, it definitely performs better. So it's not really a pen for, or this particular nib is not set up for fast writing. Uh, I'm sorry, I just have to do something there. Oh, uh, we can zoom out a bit now. Uh, in terms of wetness, like it's not bad. If you're using this at work, it's actually a decent like level of wetness, I think. Super. Don't, uh, I don't know why I said super. So when you go a little slower, lower angle, and um, do not apply pressure, it performs pretty well. Like it's so far, like you've seen this, this is pretty decent. Um, it could probably use a quick touch up from a, a Nibmeister. So if you do buy it from Applebaum, they do have a Nibmeister on hand who is smoothing, tuning, etc., setting up your nibs so that they write. And uh, hi, Annabelle. So she's actually really awesome. She'll get your nib writing before it leaves the door. So like you're good to go. Now, just for the curious, because I'm sure someone is curious. Um, the ink is one of my absolute favorites. That skip was me there. I left the pen. Blah, blah. Toffee. Bam. So... I'm going to wrap this. Thank you kindly to Applebaum for loaning me this pen. Now, Applebaum does offer a discount at their website. It is friend. And unfortunately, because of Mont Blanc's rules, it does not apply to Mont Blanc, but they've got tons of stuff on there, uh, including this notebook, which is a Leuch term. And... Um, so you can check them out if you would like. There's a link below to shop for this particular pen, but you can also just peruse while you're there. Um, I gotta say, like, I'm surprised. <laughs> I thought I would hate the pen. In fact, when I picked it up for review, I was like, uh, I don't want to waste my time wait reviewing this pen. And now I've had it for several months, and I'm like, okay. It's actually surprised me. Surprisingly comfortable. Um, apart from the, the occasional skips, like overall, it performs quite well. And um, my only qualm about it is that Mont Blanc says it doesn't take a converter. I don't like cartridge pens. So for me, that's, that's kind of a big deal. But in the end, um, I found a converter that works. So I'm just going to put that here again. It was for sure for me, the Coveco converter. So the larger style converter that goes in like the um, Dia 2 pen and stuff like that. That is the one that works for this. And that's everything. I'm going to wrap up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. I hope you found it useful. Um, I am Gourmet Pens. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Patreon. And I'm also out there as Toronto Pen Company, teaching workshops, doing calligraphy, goodness, 
and more at pen shows and locally. So check me out. If you haven't, I would love it if you would subscribe, subby, because that would be much appreciated and possibly give me a thumbs up. All right. Thank you guys again. Thank you to Applebaum for loaning me this pen. It's heading off to the next reviewer shortly. And so you guys will see it again elsewhere. Okay, everyone, take care. Bye.